Another week has passed and I have made some more progress uh, in my uh, working through Wade uh, real analysis. I am now, I finally completed chapter 5. Uh, I'm going to say completed, but I could have done more problems. I definitely could have done more problems. Uh, all about integration. Um, I, uh, had, I had two stumbling blocks this week happen at the same time, which has not happened yet, which is I got... I hit a stumbling block on improper integrals. Uh, I just looked at all the definitions and they, um, there were a lot of different terms. So I had to like put them all together on a single page. Uh, and then that allowed me to make progress. Uh, and then on the reading end, I encountered a roadblock with um, just top power series. And so I, uh, you know, when you saw, when you catch yourself digging a hole, the first thing you do is stop digging and then you get out of the hole. So I entertained the, the, uh, the, I entertained doing a little diversion, doing a little uh, side thing of going to uh, Thomas and Finney and doing some power series. Uh, but I changed my mind because uh, I actually got myself unstuck. And so I'm now, I'm going to begin working on chapter six, uh, section 6.1 problems tomorrow. And then I'm also uh, finishing up, uh, actually, I'm, I'm working on section 7.4. It's actually very long. And section 7.3, uh, which was all about power series, was very long as well. So that took a while. That definitely took a while. Uh, and then also section 7.4, analytic functions, which is, has a Taylor's formula. Uh, I've done some work with Taylor series back in the day, so... Uh, it's, I mean, it's familiar to me, so I'm not too worried about it, but I still, it's still a lot of reading, which is good, has to be done. So that's where I'm at with the uh, book itself. Uh, then, of course, this is the week that we're on. This is a uh, happy Valentine's Day to all you all. Uh, this was the week for that. Uh, and so I am eight weeks in, in the calendar, but I am about a month ahead of that in reading and that's a little over a third of the course. I think by the time I hit uh, 16 weeks, 368, 368, here is the half of the course. Yeah, so actually it's almost like a quarter if you think about it calendar-wise. Anyways, so yeah, I did a bunch of problems. Uh, not too many. I could have done more. I chickened out of some of the additional material, uh, sections 5.5, 5.6, uh, convex uh, functions, variations, I learned them. I know what they are. I just did one problem on convex functions. I could have done more, but I, I want to keep going. I really do want to keep going. And so I marked in here where I left off last time. Yeah. And so, yeah, about 20 minutes later that late afternoon, uh, when I complained the last time that I was having problems with a problem, I figured that out. I kept working on it. And sure enough, I think, I think what I think is the correct answer, uh, just substitute in for x, log x, and watch it go through the derivative, and the, uh, the answer comes out using the uh, fundamental theorem of calculus. Uh, more problem solving, uh, a little bit more chat GPT. Then I came across this concept called the Cauchy uh, principal value. I thought, oh wow, a new technique, that's pretty good. But then I found this uh, cautionary tale by Dave Rusin about the perils of uh, improper integrals and trying to get a value when there is none uh, and be ver to be very careful with uh, definitions. And then I found another handout uh, by uh, uh, Jeffrey Wheeler, which references Rusin's uh, page, but also expands on it with more examples. And I kept it just as a cautionary tale. Be careful with improper intervals. They can really uh, give you the wrong result when, when you think there is a result and there really is none. Uh, then I kept going uh, with more integration, just working on problems. <clears throat> uh, then, of course, when I, I got to the point where I was like, all right, I've done a little bit. I need to do more. Uh, so I put all the definitions on one page for that section. Just wrote them all out. Uh, because there's improperly integral, integrable, locally, absolutely, conditionally. So it just, it got confusing for me. So I had to like lay it all out, 
uh, there's ways to compare two integrals and if the uh, greater one the greater function is uh, improperly integrable then the one under it the f function then also is uh, then the summing and products uh, well summing with factors I should say and just the, the concept itself uh, then the whole thing about if and if if and only if it's improperly integral integrable it can be absolutely integ integrable and then if and only if uh, yeah you get to you eventually get to conditionally integrable depending on some conditions so anyways yeah uh, then I continue working on problems this is all chapter five problems um, and yeah I this problem was actually very simple but I overthought it this happens uh, then just kept working on more problems and yeah I I did do what I said I was gonna do which is spend two weeks on chapter five problems and now these are chapter six notes which is infinite series uh, this should be I, I'm hoping uh, uh, more uh, go more smoothly I know when I read this chapter it just flowed I didn't feel like I was stuck in any way um, yeah and that's that's what I'll be working problems for beginning tomorrow and I'm I'm almost done with chapter 7 reading but uh, section 7.4 is a very long section so that's where I am at with uh, Wade and that's all of chapter 6 reading